Hello everyone, this is Maxwell, Maxwell Kill here today, and be reading more of uh, Calamus by Walt Whitman. Here we go. Of the terrible doubt of appearances. Of the terrible doubt of appearances, of the uncertainty after all, that we may be deluded, that may be reliance and hope are but speculations after all, that may be identity beyond the grave is a beautiful fable only, may be the things I perceive, the animals, plants, men, hills, shining and flowing waters, the skies of day and night, colors, densities, forms, maybe these are, as doubtless they are, only apparitions. And the real, something has yet to be known. How often they dart out of themselves as if to be so confounded, confound me and mock me. How often I think neither I know nor any man knows aught of them. Maybe seeming to me what they are, as doubtless they indeed but seem, as from my present point of view, it might prove, as of course they would, not of what they appear or not anyhow, from entirely changed points of view. To me, these and the likes of these are curiously answered by my lovers, my dear friends. When he whom I love travels with me or sits along while holding me by the hand, when the subtle air, the impalpable, the sense that words and reason hold not surround us and pervade us, that I am changed with untold and an untellable wisdom. I am silent. I require nothing further. I cannot answer the question of appearances or that of identity beyond the grave, but I walk or sit indifferent. I am satisfied. He a hold of my hand has completely satisfied me. And now, gentlemen, oh, here's the next poem, the base of all metaphysics. And now, gentlemen, a word I give to remain in your memories and minds as base and finale, too, for all metaphysics. So to the students, the old professor at the close of his crowded course. Having studied the new and antique, the Greek and Germanic systems, Kant, having studied and stated Fitch and Schelling and Hegel, stated the lore of Plato and Socrates greater than Plato, and greater than Socrates sought and stated Christ divine, having studied long. I see reminiscent today those Greek and Germanic systems, see all the philosophies all, Christian churches and tenets see, yet underneath Socrates clearly see, and underneath Christ the divine I see, the dear love of man for his comrade, the attraction of friend to friend, of the well-married husband and wife, of children and parents, of city for city and land for land. Recorder's age hence. Recorder's age hence. Come, I will take you down underneath this impassive exterior. I will tell you what to say of me. Publish my name and hang up my picture as that of the tenderest lover. The friend, the lover's portrait of whom his friend, his lover, was fondest. Who was not proud of his songs, but of the measureless ocean of love within him and freely poured it forth. Who often walked in lonesome walks, thinking of his dear friends, his lovers. Whose pensive away from one he loved often lay sleepless and dissatisfied at night. Who knew too well the sick, sick dread, least the one he loved might secretly be indifferent to him. Whose happiest days were far away from fields and woods on hills, he and another wandering hand in hand, they twain apart from other men. Who oft as he sauntered the streets curved of his arm the shoulder of his friend, while the arm of his friend rested upon him also. When, when I heard at the close of day, when I heard at the close of day how my name has been received with plaudits in the capital, still it was not a happy night for me that followed. And else when I caressed, or when my plans were accomplished, still I was not happy. But the day when I rose at dawn from the bed of perfect health, refreshed, singing, inhaling the ripe breath of autumn, when I saw the full moon in the west grow pale and disappear in the morning light, when I wandered alone over the beach and undressing, bathed, laughing with the cool waters and saw the sun rise, and when I thought how my dear friend, my lover, was on his way coming, oh, then I was happy. Oh, then each breath tasted sweeter, and all that day my food nourished me more, and the beautiful day passed well. And the next came with equal joy, and with the next at evening came my friend. And that night, while all was still, I heard the waters roll slowly, continuously up the shores. I heard the hissing rustle of the liquid in the sands as directed to me, whispering to congratulate me. For the one I love most lay sleeping by me, under the same cover in the cool night, and the stillness in the autumn moonbeams, his face was inclined towards me, and his arm lay lightly around my breast, and that night I was happy. Are you the new person drawn towards me? 
Are you the new person drawn towards me? To begin with, take warning, I am surely far different from what you suppose. Do you suppose you will find in me your ideal? Do you think it is so easy to have become your lover, for me to become your lover? Do you think the friendship of me would be unalloyed satisfaction? Do you think I am trusty and faithful? Do you see no further than this facade, the smooth and tolerant manner of me? Do you suppose yourself advancing on real ground to the real heroic man? Have you no thought, O oh dreamer, that it may be all Maya illusion? And roots and leaves themselves alone. Roots and leaves themselves alone are these. Scents brought to men and women from the wild woods and pond side. Breast sorrel and pinks of love. Fingers that wind around tighter than vines. Gushes from the throats of birds hid in the foliage of trees as the sun is risen. Breezes of land and love set from living shores to you on the living sea to you, O oh sailors. Frost mellowed berries and third month twigs offer fresh to young persons. Wandering out in the fields when the winter breaks up, love buds put before you and with you, whoever you are. Buds to be unfolded on the old terms. If you bring the warmth of the sun to them, they will open and bring form, color perfume to you. If you become the ailment in the wet, they will become flowers, fruits, tall branches and trees. And uh, that's it for now. And I hope you enjoy them. That was part of Calamus by Walt Whitman. And I hope you have a good day. Bye.